Violence against women is an issue that transcends all social, economic, geographic boundaries. Everyone is affected. It's a global issue, and it's an issue that has uh, been relegated m mostly to the private sector. It's yes. largely unspoken about, underrepresented, underreported. It is internationally the most underreported crime. What happened when you met Ms. Hurd in 2009? I was uh, in the baggage claim area and I observed her with a traveling companion and uh, they were, got into an altercation where um, Ms. Hurd was, um, had grabbed her traveling companion and um, pulled something from her neck at that point, I got up and went over to try to break up what appeared to be a fight. Uh, and I uh, summoned a colleague to help me. And I stepped in between them and separated them, um, stopping any further uh, injuries or escalation. How would you describe the interaction between Ms. Hurd and her traveling companion? Um, Ms. Hurd was aggressive towards her traveling companion and she had reached up and grabbed her arm and uh, pulled a necklace off of her and, and, and then I uh, observed her having it in her hand. Um, she seemed to be um, not very steady on her feet. Uh, her eyes were blurry uh, and watery and I could smell alcohol. It affects uh, women uh, it, it, at a disproportionate level, and it, it does so silently. <laughs> Got into an altercation. Ow. I already talked about it. I won't talk about it anymore. I can't believe Amber beat your ass. I know you could beat her ass. We're not going to oh, talk man. about that. She yes. really did whoop do your butt. Oh, we're not talking about it. Yeah, I'm done. I guess I'm done talking about it. And unless we raise awareness and talk about it and bring it to light, we can't change the system. It maintains the silence. You know, we can't change it unless we talk about it. And it's really easy to not change it if we don't see the faces, if we don't see who our rules, our systems are hurting. And I specifically remember standing in her office where she leapt up out of her chair, put her face approximately four inches from my face. She was spitting in my face and it's telling me how dare I ask for the salary I was asking for, which was in fact approximately half of my regular annual salary. I was offering her that as a favor. And she felt, she felt that gave her the right to spit in my face. And there was a witness in the apartment at that time, by the way. Who was at the apartment at the time? The handyman, Hector Galindo. I'm sorry. The handyman Hector Galindo. He was so he was so mortified. For me. He was so embarrassed to hear her speaking to me like that. It's an issue that happens predominantly behind closed doors. Violence against women is an unseen thing. Even economic violence against women, it's an unseen thing. I wanna just be one of the many, many voices right now of women, of countless women who are standing up and saying, enough is enough, hear me too, yes me too, time's up.